Welcome back, guys, to some more Jedi Fallen Order. This episode was really nice because we finally get to see a little bit more about Trilla. And I really have to say the dynamic between Trilla and Seer was super great. Learning, like, their history later on in the game was just awesome. I love the Inquisitors. I think we should see a little bit more about Inquisitors. Maybe have a whole game or series diving more in the Inquisitors because they went through a whole bunch of trauma. And they were going after a bunch of Jedi as well that survived Order 66. So... I honestly would love to see something like that. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. We're going to continue with some more Jedi Fallen Order, and I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Back to Zepho. Back to Zepho, huh? The Empire might have found a Zepho tomb. We can't waste any time. Oh, pity. Heard about a high-stakes game from one of Sauce fighters. A few extra credits couldn't hurt, you know? Gambling? Grease, use your head. One of these days... The Haxian brood is going to catch up with you. <laughs> <laughs> Those slubs? I'll hear them coming from a parsec away. I don't need your gambling habit causing us more trouble with murderous criminal syndicates. You're right. You're right. I know it. I just want to blow off some stress every once in a while. <laughs> you know? Agrees. Anyway, all of that is in the past. I'm sure it won't be a problem. I love how we can sp I, I hope they here, kid. We're about I hope we keep stuff like this still in the in in the next uh, in the next game. I know. Uh, this, stuff like this is still the game where we, like, portal in, like, you know, into a new planet like this. So, I like that that's still available in the game. Alright, so we're back in Zepho. I forgot what we're gonna do here in Zepho again. There's a long journey ahead of us. These ancient tombs didn't survive all this time because they were easy to find. It's a challenge I'm willing to take. I can see that. I'm glad you believe in what we're trying to accomplish. So... I believe in the quest. I always have. Ever since I was a youngling, I trusted in the Force. Those names on the list, they're a test. And I believe I will succeed. I like your confidence. A journey like this one can challenge you in ways you've never been before. Yep. I understand. I think I'm ready. We've got your back, Cal. Thank you. Thank you, Seer. Thank you, thank you. All right, where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Zephyr statue. So which, is, which shortcut can we take? There's a shortcut that goes here. We got to go right around over there, so... Yeah, I think we can take the shortcut from in this hangar. Oh, there we go. Got him. Oh, ho, ho, you see? That's clean. That's clean. You, uh, know any jokes, BD? <laughs> I don't know. Why? <laughs> Classic. See, I want to know what BD said. How do you speak droid? I want to learn how to speak droid. See, I want to be able to understand BD. All the people that can speak droid, like, I wonder, like, are you just born, like, in the Star Wars universe, are you just born able to, to speak with droids like Anakin, you know, Luke, Anakin? There's got to be some information on their excavation inside, right? Always looking on the bright side. Thanks, buddy. Like, how do you speak to droids? What language is that? <laughs> oh, look, you guys forgot that. Just like that. He just racked all. Oh. <laughs> Can I push him off? <laughs> Mr. Krabs?
Star Destroyer? It's a Venator. There could be useful intel inside. I'll try to find a way to it. Oh my god, look at that. Oh man. Guys, I love Star Wars. Look at that. I think we're getting close. I noticed it earlier, this feeling in the pit of my stomach. At first I thought it was Grease's cooking. Now it's getting even stronger. I think the closer we are, the worse I feel. It can't mean anything good. Should do the trick. How does it feel? Upgrading our good, for, a good boy BD. There's got to be a way to the tomb now. Oh, shit. How predictable. Oh, yes. 
I know your name, your past, and most importantly, about Cordova. Tell me, where did he hide the holocron? Outstanding. Quite as gifted as Sears' last apprentice, but not bad. You've been keeping count. I'm surprised she didn't tell you. Sarah was never good at keeping secrets. And you know her so well, huh? Mm. <laughs> she was weak. Cracked in an Imperial torture chair. Surrendered the location of her naive Padawan. They would never have found me. If it wasn't for her... She betrayed me. Trilla. Trilla, I see. In the flesh. I won't let you manipulate me. So sure are you? When faced with a choice to protect herself or her Padawan, she chose self-interest. She'll sell you out, too. Well, I can handle myself. <laughs> can you afford to take that chance? Your new master harbors great darkness. The look on her face when she saw what they had done to me, as I am now. She turned, exposing her true nature. She used the dark side. She cut herself off from the Force. Oh? How long before she cracks and betrays you too? Damn. Is that who you want beside you when you find the Holocron? What would Jaro Tapal say? You have no right to mention his name. I wonder. What would he think if he could see his Padawan now? Skulking in the shadows with a betrayer. Granting her access to a legion of impressionable students. No. I won't let anyone touch them. I thought the same thing once. I knew that scene really messed me up. It's like, just like seeing how they would turn, how they turn to the dark side, man. It is, it is sad. Thanks for the help back there, BD. Dude, BD you saved my life. One. And got us closer to the tomb. BD's a real one, man. 